So this is the second Harley Benson guitar that I've had a chance to try out recently. The first one being the TE20 with the single coils, which is a much more traditional Telecaster type. Um, this one having the dual humbuckers is much more suited to what I play, uh, the music that I play. So I've been really looking forward to trying this one out. Um, I'll go over the specs with you uh, quickly, and then I'll show you the small tweaks that I made that I think take it from a good budget guitar to just a good guitar overall. Um, then I'll give you a bit of playing and finish up with my thoughts on the guitar. So it has a basswood body, a maple neck with a rose acre fretboard, 25 and a half inch scale length and a 12 inch radius. They don't say what the uh, nut material is made of. Uh, it has non-locking tuners, um, bolt on design, um, torch shell pick guard, three-way switch, master volume, master tone, and a matte black satin finish. It took about an hour to get this guitar ready. I'll quickly show you what that involved. I started by removing the strings, peeling off the plastic from the pick guard, taping up the fretboard nut and pickups. I used the 1500 grit sandpaper followed by some 2000 grit to prepare the frets for polishing. Then moved on to the polishing part. Removed the protective tape. Conditioned the fretboard with Music Nomad F1 oil. And then lubricated the nut with my Daddario lubricant. I'll be down tuning this guitar, so I'll be restringing it with um, Ernie Ball beefy slinkies. Lastly, I adjusted the action. The relief and intonation were already pretty good. So bear, bear in mind that I'm quite picky about the way guitars are set up. Um, if you're a beginner, then the only stage of that that I'd say is quite important um, not to miss is probably do, do the action. Um, they give you, they include the correct Allen key for this um, with the guitar, and I probably had to take it down three or four full rotations, so like a full 360 rotations, three or four times. So let's hear how it sounds in a mix and then on its own.
So what do I think of it? It's 82 pounds and I think I could record an album with it. It's worth every penny. I've been playing it for hours now and it stays in tune brilliantly. Yeah, I've, I've stretched the strings out a lot and I've lubricated the saddles and the nut, but for it to stay in tune as well as it does, I'm really impressed. Yeah, the finish is gonna go shiny the way you, where your arm's touching it because it's already started doing it. I've been playing it for a few hours and it's already started going shiny in some places, but I like that look on a matte black guitar. It shows that you've played it, you've put the hours in, and you've been enjoying it. I think something that a lot of companies struggle to get right on these kind of guitars is the headstock shape from an aesthetic kind of point of view. And to me, I think this is a good looking headstock. I, I wouldn't mind, I'll, I'd give you this, I wouldn't be embarrassed, I think it's pretty cool. The electronics have been really good. There's no cutting out or sort of crackles or anything like that. So I'm happy with that. I think the pickups sound pretty good. What do you think? Um, neck pickup, no complaints at all. If I'm being really sort of critical then Possibly the bridge pickup slightly muddy. Um, maybe some point in the future I'll change it for like a, a JB or a super distortion or something like that. But no, it sounds good. I feel like I need to criticize it or say point out some bad features or something bad about it, but I'm being completely honest, like there's just nothing. There's I'm not saying it's a perfect guitar, but you don't need to change anything. The nut is cut really well, the frets now that they've been polished up, they feel really good. The bridge has been good. The tuner stability is, I've been really impressed with that. Maybe to chuck some locking tuners on just for quicker string changes. Um, put some locking uh, strap locks. Uh, if you don't like the shininess on the matte black finish, that might be an issue for you, but struggling to find anything bad to say, to be honest. Even out of the box, like I said earlier, the only thing that really needed doing was the action because it was, it was so high. It wasn't as high as the last Harley Benton I had, um, but it was still too high. But uh, that takes no time and it's easy enough to do. Um, even the frets, play it for a little while, it would have polished up and they would have been fine. I just I just wanted to get them done. But yeah, just nothing to complain about. To be honest, any guitar that I buy, I kind of expect to have to at least do the action. Um, I got a player strat last week and that, the action was way up here. And that guitar was like eight or nine times the price of this. Would I gig with it? Um, yeah, well, I can't see why not. I'd, I'd do a gig with it. Uh, if you care about the brand on the headstock, then get something else. If you don't care about the kind of thing, gig with it. So what do you think of this guitar? Do you think that it's worth the money or do you think that there's a good alternative? And if you can think of anything that competes with it, um, please let me know, because I'd love to try something else out. If you want to see what this guitar was like out of the box, no setup, no adjustments or anything, check this video out here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.